Hello, my name is Wendy Went. I'm with the Peak Agency and I'm auditioning for the role of Margot. I don't have anyone to audition with me today, sorry. Hello, Gavin. Oh, hi Margot. Uh, just reading scripts. Are you looking for me? Yes, yes I am. I watched a French movie and thought of you. I have discovered the genius who is Gaspar Noe. I watched Love. Oh. Uh, so you have a question? I'm more interested in your opinion, actually. Well, uh, he's often controversial. Americans often call it uh, artistic pornography. It's not really my thing. I'm more into the French, but if you're looking for something interesting, I like Francois Ozel. I think maybe you should come over this Saturday. I have a fantastic bottle of wine Dr. Bennett gave me. I could cook something nice and you could finally teach me about cinema. Uh, I would, but uh, I'm um, helping judge a festival and I'm way behind. Gavin, can I be frank? I'd rather you not. How long are we going to play this game? You want me? I want you. We both play hard to get to turn up the heat. Oh, God. I'm going to tell you something, honestly. I don't know about you, but for me, the heat is already white hot. Wait, we're colleagues. Colleagues, uh, it would be difficult. Stop. I've already talked to Mark. He's okay with it. How much longer are we going to deny ourselves? The enticing widowed filmmaker, the alluring divorcee poet, but people talk. Uh, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, yes, they would talk. Let them, let them envy the passion that could be ours. Oh, uh, this is a lot right now. Of course it is. I'll go and let you come to terms with what we have. Goodbye, Gavin. I admire your strength. Your restraint is remarkable. Are you kidding me? Really? What is it you need, Margo? Elaine? I literally just ran into her at the theater. What have you done? It's not what you think. You should be ashamed of yourself. She's your daughter's age. I have shoes older than her. We just had a misunderstanding. It's none of your affair. You are so blasé. So typical. You reach for the pale bud while overlooking a fully bloomed rose right underneath your nose. Of course. Of course you corner the naive ingenue. You play the poor sad writer mourning the death of his wife. The pain artist who's last lost his way. You know nothing about me and even less about Elaine. Don't you ever speak of my wife again. I do not, nor have I ever had feelings for you. You need to leave me alone. 